Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Still in St. Augustine, I'm walking up to the Big Cross. I know I've done videos from there before, but it's really a peaceful, tranquil, spiritual place, even if you're not religious like me. Um, and I want to show it to you, because it's really special. On this site, September the 8th, 1565, Pedro Menendez de Verviles landed with a band of settlers to found St. Augustine, the first permanent Christian settlement in the United States. And this could be America's most holy site because the first mass was performed here. And I know I've brought you back here before, but I want to show you because it really is quite a special place, even if you're not religious. Yep, here we go. Here, on September the 8th, 1565, 55 years before the pilgrim set foot on Plymouth Rock. One of those guys is from uh, Dorking in Surrey, William Mullins. Uh, Pedro Menendez de Vils founded the town of St. Augustine and uh, the Nombre de Dios mission. So uh, yeah, it all happened right here before the pilgrim fathers got here. Um, I love coming here. This is my fourth time coming here. I love it. When I was here last year, I just really, I'm going to the chapel now. I had a nice meditation in the chapel, which was really nice. It's very peaceful. It's set well up back against the road. So you're not getting all that noise and traffic pollution. So you can really like tune in if that's your thing, which it is for me. Meditation is so important constant stimulus all day long which we never used to have it's probably only happened in the last probably 100 years maybe you know turn your phone off you know turn off the stereo whatever to turn it off turn off the tv just have some inner work it's so important Here it is, Nombre de Dios Mission. This site has been called America's most sacred acre. Tradition holds that the first mass in the new colony was celebrated here. Isn't that amazing? Absolutely amazing. They even converted the local uh, populace and the local natives to Christianity, apparently. a peaceful sight 
with the big cross built in 1966 to mark the 400th anniversary of the founding of St Augustine made of stainless steel erected for Mr Jesus the Pilgrim's Way isn't that on the North Downs Way? not in Florida Yep, St. Augustine, first permanent European African Native American settlement on US mainland. Beginning in the early 1500s and continuing for more than three centuries, about 12 million Africans were transported across the Atlantic Ocean into slavery, what would be known as the Middle Passage, the largest forced migration in history, and utterly disgusting. Still, it makes us weep. Oh, how can, how can you say sorry for something like that? Yeah, really overcast today in St Augustine and it has been over Florida in general but and a bit cooler a bit cooler still humid but a bit cooler which is always nice right, let's have a look at the chapel Lady of La Lache the present chapel is the fourth building on this foundation erected first in 1615 let's go have a look inside again there are people in there just ahead of me so oh well more people came in looking very sincere and deep so I didn't want to disturb this is their place oh rain um, yeah beautiful place look at that great to be back at this most sacred site who knows I bought my dowsing rods I might pitch out some energy currents here once again why did they choose this place here um, so we're heading back now to meet the coach back to Orlando and uh, it's been a good trip it's been a very good trip good to be back I know I was here last year doing a, I did I think a pretty good video last year but um, I've taken you to some new places today which has been great so um yeah we'll go out this way actually really enjoyed it still umming and ahhing where to go next week when i've got the car i've got a car for three days so um that should be quite interesting there's a the vicar raining in St Augustine it is raining but it is how it's going to so uh okay a GoPro is waterproof oh god oh my word and in the rain I've still never been to the fountain of youth I don't know why why haven't I been to the fountain of youth a historical point I think because it looks a bit too touristy I know I've done touristy stuff before that's not an excuse but I don't know. Um, I don't know. Oh, look. Next time I'm here, I promise I will go to the Fountain of Youth. Oh, God. Lovely, beautiful late summer rain. There you go, pitting down with rain, but a wonderful little walk around that most sacred site in America and the cross and the chapel. I feel very at ease. Forget the rain, I feel very at ease. 
So that's it from St. Augustine. Be like, subscribe, all that stuff. And we'll see you on the next adventure in Florida. Take care.